I am the ghost of eight happier here. If you're new here, before we go any further, take a moment, pull your finger out your butt and use it to hit that like button and subscribe. It's free. It's an amazing decision. If you change your mind later on down the road, you can just unsubscribe. You got nothing to lose. And with all that awesomeness being said, let's get into this fucking video, shall we? So Black Ops 6, not using any kind of clickbait, is dying. And this video will prove it. And I'm actually kind of shocked by it because you know what? Treyarch told us, all the Activision shills, they all told us that this was the most played Call of Duty ever, guys. And it's going to be the biggest game ever, guys. That's what we were told, right? This is this is huge. I don't know. They always use some kind of nonsense metrics and stats. This is the most played game by black kids who have a dad whose smoke alarm battery has been changed. That's what they usually do. They try to tell you some nonsense instead of just coming from out and saying this is how many units we've sold this is how many people are playing the game concurrently but they never do that because you know why because the game is not what they say it is and we have facts and stats in this video to prove accidentally mind you they didn't mean to leak this out but they kind of fucked up a little bit here Treyarch that is but Black Ops 6 is not doing so well with the player base and the numbers I mean it did start off booming like we'll keep a real pack to steal there it was booming at the beginning. We had big numbers. Steam numbers were very high. And it seemed like a lot of people were playing the game. But because this game sucks shit and there's hackers everywhere and the skill-based matchmaking is just ridiculous and the EOM is ridiculous and we have 20 hertz servers that are absolutely trash and the connections are horrible and the desync is horrible and people are starting to realize you know they got to play the game for free with game pass so that pumped up the numbers and everybody was excited because they thought Treyarch was an amazing developer but they don't seem to realize that the Treyarch who made Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3 uh, don't exist anymore like the Vondahar there with his power Power Wagon is MIA, don't even tweet anymore, don't even see him anymore, separate himself completely because he knew that Treyarch and the people working there now are absolute trash cans in comparison to the greats that were there for the past Call of Duties that were awesome. I mean, we can see the beginning of the end with Black Ops 4, Cold War. Games are horrible. Like, they got progressively worse as more people left. Like, we had Black Ops 1, great. Black Ops 2, peak. Black Ops 3, pretty awesome game. Black Ops 4, okay. Well, the Treyarch people started leaving and the new millennial Gen Z libertars started coming in and they're horrible at their job and the game started going down. Then we had Cold War, Cold Sore, piece of junk. That sucked. And then, you know what? More people left. Vondahar completely left. He packed ship and said, I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't want to be associated with these mongoloids. And now we got Call of Duty Black Ops off six and quite frankly it's trash it's a piece of shit we all can agree with that and that's why the player count is dropping and the first thing i want to talk about is the steam numbers right i mean like forget forget that though we got also something here that's going to really prove it and quite interestingly enough charge messed up and they you know put out a thing going on here that shows that there's no one playing the game anymore because they can't reach their quotas and their numbers to unlock anyways i'm getting ahead of myself let me just talk about the steam numbers and the steam numbers are getting worse and worse and lower like i said you look at them they started off with great numbers great numbers and then it just started to drop and drop but you know what a little bit misleading there with the big pump there from the steam numbers and i know steam is not the best choice to show when it comes to the call of duty player base it's not the place where most people play the game if the numbers on steam are starting to decline then the numbers everywhere else would be starting to decline my point though is that the peak we had 400 and something thousand that was not for Black Ops 6, mind you. That was not for Black Ops 6. The peak was back in Modern Warfare 3, I believe, when they dropped Rebirth Island or the new Warzone map or whatnot. It was not repeat for Black Ops 6. But now the numbers are already dropped down for more than 50%. Like the numbers are going down, down. We have 190,000. That's the peak we had. It's the lowest it's been. And the game has only been out for a month. Now, the big kick in the can, the one that actually really proves that this game is dead and dying, is this newest event that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is going through called the Hit List, where instead of unlocking items through your own personal achievements, it is a community Call of Duty event where it takes the entire community to unlock certain things in the game for this event. And it requires eliminations from the community and they need billions and billions. So Treyarch put this up, taking into consideration how many people they think would be playing the game. And they looked at how many people would be need playing the game. They already have this predetermined, preordained. And what it looks like though, this Hit List, and you're Said it as well here. 
Interesting to see, we are currently not on pace to finish the hit list event in time. At this pace, we'll come short of getting the Sura 9mm, though they can always just inflate the numbers at the end. And that's correct. So in this hit list, you get to lock some nonsense. You unlock a new purr. We unlock a new kill streak. The hand cannon, which is hilarious. I mean, let's just, you know, keep things behind the paywall, behind these stupid nonsense. I know it's not a paywall, but behind events. And then also there's a new gun that we get to unlock as a community but the problem like in uh, your, 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 your shit my head, is that there's not enough people to unlock all the items in this hit list short-term event that black ops 6 is going through right now because there is not enough people playing the game the people they thought would be playing the game and the amount of people they needed to get the amount of eliminations and the amount of people that would be online to be able to successfully complete this event for call of duty black ops 6 is not working out because there's not enough people playing the game because so many people have quit and the facts are out the numbers are out and this is a telling sign of the health and player count for this game and it's not good black ops 6 is dying already because like i said at the beginning of the video it's a piece of shit, man there's so many problems with it. everyone was hyped at the beginning everyone thought it was gonna be a great game the you know the usual call of duty marketing worked really well and everyone's got brain rot and everyone buy, bought into it well not everybody probably a lot of you watch this video did not buy that game and god bless you but a lot of people bought into it and were sold on the streamers up there hyping it up of course because you know they're a bunch of paid activision shields getting flown down to the cod next event doing their little interview as someone that's been playing call of duty for a very long time and has been excited for a lot of call duties for a very long time. I'm super excited to play Black Ops 6. I'm really, really excited for the movement. The fluidity of the movement, it's uh, a little bit interesting to get used to so far, but I'm liking it. It definitely feels like a Black Ops game. So far, it's been an absolute blast. The guns feel unique. The maps feel like Treyarch maps. It's Treyarch. They could. I know where I'm going all weekend. I know what I'm doing for the next three months. I am grinding this title. You, stay you are fake news. And a bunch of other Call of Duty simp-ass nerds out there just totally hyping this game up. People bought into it. And, you know, the facts are there now when people actually played it themselves. It's not a very good game. It is dying Events don't have enough people to even finish them. The numbers on Steam are going down already at less than two months, which means the numbers on every other platform would be going down as well. And I imagine tons of people are canceling their Game Pass who got it for free. And I see in the comments on my YouTube videos, I see you guys leaving comments, a lot of you saying, I don't care, I didn't buy it, I just got to play it for free on Game Pass, and I'm glad I didn't waste my money. You're right, Ghost of Vate. This game sucks. Your review was correct, of course, because I'm the best. And I want to ask you a question before I go as well. Have you quit playing this game? Did you even play this game to begin with? But if you have played this game and now have quit, or we got it for free on Game Pass, it doesn't matter how you got it. I just want to know if you've actually quit or played a whole lot less now than you did before because you also think it sucks. But Black Ops 6, dying already. Facts are there. Can't deny it. Can't deny we're the best. The Elite Game is still Muffin Army. And with that being said, stay based. Question authority, and don't let the reptilian shapeshifters bring you down. See you in another video real soon. Peace.